uh, it's just incredible to see the people come together to see uh, really the good of humanity when, when there's a tough situation when people need help uh, people come out in droves and it's not even all big donations it's five dollars here ten dollars there it's people giving whatever they can uh, to help their fellow man and I think it's incredible so not only are you getting big name stars and athletes like yourself that are donating huge amounts of money but you're saying just regular folks are, are giving what they can it might be what they spend on today's lunch Exactly. I think that's uh, that's really been the biggest eye opener here is that people are donating what they can. If it's $5, it's $5. Um, but I know that that $5 means something and I can also assure them that that $5 is going to go out there and directly help the people. Yeah, I know that's why JJ picked you caring.com because of the low donation level that you can start at and it's really easy too. Hi JJ, Coy Wire here. Now you and your teammates, you have not been home since a for about a week you've been in the hotel room how are your teammates and coaches feeling as you're watching this tragedy unfold in your city yeah it's very difficult for us to be on the road to not be back in houston with our family and friends and with the people you know in a situation like this such tough times you want to be there to experience it you want to be there to help out you want to be there to do whatever you can uh, we've got guys with wives and young kids at home uh, we're going through a very difficult time some of our guys are in an evacuation zone and things like that not knowing what their house is like uh, so it's very tough to watch it from afar, and that's why we started this fundraiser, because we want to do what we can. We feel a little bit helpless, and we just want to help raise money. Do, do, am I correct in remembering that your dad was or is a firefighter, so you have probably had experience with rescues and people when there's emergencies that you're working hours on end, and you don't get to go home either. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, my dad was a firefighter for 29 years, um, so I definitely know firsthand. And watching the footage on TV and seeing all these firemen and policemen out there for hours and hours on end, and then seeing the regular citizens going out in their own boats and helping yeah. each other, it's truly incredible to watch uh, people work when other people's lives are at stake. And I think that's, it's a, it's a positive light in today's world that's really beautiful. JJ, uh, your girlfriend, pro soccer player for the Houston Dash, Kalia Ojai, where is she? How is she doing? She's one of the people there in Houston, right? Yeah, yeah, she's back in Houston. She's with her sister uh, and her two kids, so they're in a house. Um, they don't have, the water was shut off at their house. Um, really kind of, you know, food supplies are starting to run a little bit low. They're opening up a few grocery stores here and there, but um, obviously just want to get back and see her. Uh, yeah. She's safe. Everybody back there, we just want them to be safe, but uh, I just want to be with her. I think that's that's the sentiment of all the players here and everybody here is in a time like this when things are tough You just want to be with the people that are closest to you. I think a lot of people believe it or not um, Hurricane Katrina started to hit 12 years ago today and we can remember to the the Saints how much that sports um, the game was able to lift the spirits of the people who had suffered so much in Katrina and so while okay, this isn't a, exactly a pressing issue of, say, your home is flooding out, but you guys do have a game on Thursday there with Dallas, and I'm wondering, how are the folks there treating you, knowing that a lot of the folks are suffering? Yeah, the people of Dallas have been great to us. They've opened their doors, and they've been, they've been very generous to us. Um, I think the biggest thing with that game Thursday, if we do end up playing it, uh, is it's very important for that to turn into a fundraiser of some sort. I'm really hoping that the NFL uh, steps up in a big way and makes that a big fundraiser, um, because life is much bigger than football. It, it's, it's not about a game. It's about people's lives. It's about making sure that we get our city back on track and provide as much relief as we possibly can. And obviously, the NFL is a massive, massive platform. So we're just trying to use that to the best of our ability. Now, yeah. JJ, you're a good old Wisconsin boy. You're not even from Houston. <laughs> what is it about? I knew I liked him. He's from the Midwest. Yeah, <laughs> yes, down to earth, <laughs> humble dude. But you have embraced the city of Houston. What is it about that city and those people that have made you want to go all in for them right now? Well, they've treated me so well throughout my years, and it's a great city. It's a very diverse city. There's people from all over, but they're all very resilient. They're all very supportive, and they've been unbelievable to me throughout my career. You know, I realize that my job is a fan-driven sport. Uh, without those millions of people down in Houston, and supporting me and my team, I wouldn't even have a job. Uh, so I just wanted to make sure that we got out ahead of this thing. We did something as early as we possibly could uh, to get out there and to help these people out who have helped me so much throughout my career. You know what, JJ? I have been um, pestering Coy uh, on this story to, to say if he knows uh, how you're going to be dispersing the funds. That's a lot to take on. And you thought it was going to be like 100,000, then 500,000, right. now it's 1.5. So do you know, are you going to work with the Red Cross, United Way? How will the funds go out? 
Uh, we're working on that right now. I actually just got off a conference call with a few great people on our team down here and uh, my mom and some people back home who are helping me out since the operation has gotten so big. I want people to know that this money is going to go directly to the people. I'm going to try and uh, we're setting up semi trucks. We're going to fill the semi trucks with water and uh, cleaning supplies and clothes and sleeping bags, anything that we can to help these people out. And then we're going to go out and we're going to deliver it straight to the people so that everybody knows that their money is going directly to the victims of this hurricane. I can't stress enough. This is preseason. This is training camp, and JJ is taking the time to do this. And you, you're trying to perform your best, you know, to get ready for this season. So, JJ, I want to commend you for that, first of all. Secondly, tell us about some of the folks who've really stepped up to the plate for you, uh, maybe other celebrity athletes. And do you want to call anyone else out right now? Because we can, we can make that oh, happen. Oh, like Kevin Hart did. You know, he, yeah. just, he just did a whole list of people he and called said, out The Rock and everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've had uh, we've had unbelievable support throughout. I mean, people from all over, like you said, Kevin Hart and The Rock out supporting. Uh, Drake has reached out. Matthew McConaughey has reached out. You know, there's people from all over reaching out. Um, so whoever is willing to donate, you know, I don't like calling people out in times like this because <laughs> I believe that if uh, if you're willing to donate and you have the means to donate, you will, and if you don't, you won't, um, which is perfectly fine. And like I said with the fundraiser, if it's $5, it's $5, but whatever you can support and whatever way you can help, we appreciate it so much, and the people of Houston really need it in this time, and thank you so much for that. And thank you, J.J. Watt, for one, being up early. Hope practice goes well today, and that everybody you love in Houston is doing okay. Thank you. Thank you guys very much. Houston, stay strong. J.J. Watt Foundation.org is J.J.'s foundation's website. He has raised over $3.3 million in his time there in Houston. And then it's the youcaring.com slash J.J. Watt if you want to help that direct fund to help the people of Houston right now.